Alive by Misha M. Prom. Rain drums thrums on the rooftop to a beat that overtakes the one that keeps me alive and then slowly sinks me to sleep at my desk. Tomorrow, maybe, I'll finally get up from the desk. Still, I can't go outside, but we can go to the rooftop to look at the sky and remember what it's good that it's good to be alive. All those years when the city was alive, and yet we sat still and studied, glued to the desk. Only the rain knows reason as it rinses the rooftop. Hi guys, I'm Tatiana. I'm a senior at USF, and today we are going to be discussing um, the impact of COVID-19 um, on college students and their sense of belonging and mental health which I know is a topic that affects all of us and affected me as a senior who graduated 2020 and kind of lost that whole senior experience and transitioned to college due to the pandemic. This study was very interesting. It was conducted by May Thray Goplin, Ashley Linden Carmichael, and Stephanie Lanza. Um, and it was a retrospective quality qualitative study on the impact of COVID-19 on minority college students. Um, I found it interesting that this study used gift cards to incentivize participation in the survey because I know I've participated in tons of surveys for the chance for gift cards on campus in my apartment. And I guess I kind of just wonder if I was part of a, an experiment like this and contributing to the findings of how COVID impacted all of us. Um, in the study, they ranked belonging and socioeconomic, socio-demographic status using self-ranking and um, of their belongings, parental education, race, ethnicity, and residential status. And they also ranked um, depressive symptoms using the Center for Epidemiological Studies Depression 10 Item Scale. Um, I found it interesting that there was really no significant difference between students years two to four, which I guess I would have been that first year student. Um, so maybe just like that transition would have more of an impact in your sense of belonging. But if you're already like in the school, if it has a difference. Um, but they also said that it was less of an impact for white continuing generation, white and continuing generation students. Um, compared to the minority students or students who were first generation in college. And I wonder really how much that is due to like parental um, support or just an idea of what college is supposed to be like, whether that made them feel more included or less included or like they're missing out more or less. Um, and I also wonder why the link between mental health and sense of belonging had not been studied yet because that seems like such an obvious link compared to the link between a sense of belonging and academic success. And I guess it just goes to the sense of priority um, and then whose priorities those are if that's like the institution wants to see the comparison versus the students themselves, which is really what the study should be geared towards because that's who we're studying. And that really relates to everything we've talked about in this class and really including the participants. Um, I also wonder how involved the students themselves or college students in general were in creating the study, um, if they approved what the researchers were looking for or even just how they gathered the evidence. Um, like conducting those surveys, if they really thought that was an effective way, if they had an encompassing group by reaching out to people through that survey th with the incentive of a gift card, um, how many people are actually gonna participate in that? And is that inclusive of everyone who is dealing with mental health struggles or sense of belonging in college would someone who doesn't have a sense of belonging even participate in a study like this. Um, it also really strongly emphasizes how lack of belonging is really important 
and is still an issue with so many minorities, whether that's in higher education systems or museums. And we really need to work to increase inclusion and belonging in these places so that we can improve the mental health and we can improve their academic success in these places for continued upward mobility and growth. And now I'm just gonna end with a little more uplifting poem, The Promise of Exploration Post-COVID-19 with a poem by Walt Whitman, Song of the Open Road from Leaves of Grass of 1855. Afoot and lighthearted, I take to the open road, healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. Henceforth, I ask not good fortune, I myself am good fortune. Henceforth, I whimper no more, postpone no more, need nothing, done with indoor complaints, libraries, querulous criticisms, strong and content, I travel the open road. Best of luck on your own travels, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.